There's some upset cows. They want to bale of hay. Issue is this, well, I'm going to say six to at least 18 inch deep muck. Did check the one grain gauge I haven't touched. Hey, guess what? Since the fire, we've had a total of just barely two inches of rain. First round was supposed to be an inch and a quarter. Second round, they were saying it was going to be, oh my God, it's going to be at least an inch and three quarters. Yeah, I don't know where. Wasn't here. Uh, fed day before yesterday in that feeder over there and almost didn't get back out of there with the tractor. And, uh, oh, look, they got dirty feet. I don't know why they'd have dirty feet. Maybe because there's a whole bunch of real upset cows. They didn't want to leave the feed barn because they wanted some hay. And, yeah, yeah, gee. I walk in the manure and I get my shoes cleaned up so I can go get on the loader and start cleaning and yeah, maybe I can do it without walking back in there. I mean, they'd be less less upset if they were out on the ice green stuff up there, but I haven't had time to get up there. This hasn't been cleaned out since May. It's oh Almost a foot deep right here in the door. If you can see what's in the feeder. The, this side of that feeder is actually at least eight inches from the floor, if not higher. So there's a foot, foot and a half of dirt and junk in it. All the feeders are the same. I got the... Winch end of the cable unhooked from the feeders. This one was actually loose on the other end, so the rope's unhooked. It's only one with the rope. The other two still have cables hooked to them, but I can't. I, I'm just not big enough to pick those feeders up and move them. I don't know why. I mean, I can put my shoulder into it when it's on bare concrete and slide them, but I can't do too much when they're set in the manure like that. There's actually almost bare concrete there because they're always in there after those tubs. And I got uh, one gate's missing the handle on the shot. I got to try to get it open. Others are, those two over there are just buried in the manure. Can't move until I get some cleaned up. So this is what I'm going to do for a while. Haven't heard anything from number one yet. You know, this is what I was hoping she was going to do yesterday. Or the day before. Yesterday wouldn't have been as good. They still had hay in the feeders. And feeders got to get lifted out and moved. So, yeah, we'll see how far I get. Maybe I'll start cleaning this other lot where this other feeder is. It needs to come out of there anyway. Really need to get the bulls off, get them put back in their pens. And then probably just put everybody together in one group. Let them fight. And then get some calves off. But we're so strung out on calves. I mean, we wean. Some should have already been weaned, realistically. Sometime in the last month or so. We usually wean September, October. A bunch of them out there, they're not going to be ready to be weaned for another couple months, but... They're just going to get weaned early. So, that's just part of life. I know people that play with the numbers, too. If you wean them X number of days early, and you play the numbers game, it looks much better on paper. Yeah, we've never played that game. Nine times out of ten when you do wean early and you look at what the numbers would be playing that game. And then you look what the numbers actually are when they're at that particular age that you're trying to play that game for. It's never even close. But boy, does that look good on paper. Yeah, I don't care what it looks like paper. I want to see what it looks like in the scale and in the lot. 
Okay, time for some earplugs and fire this thing up, put the bucket on. And it don't even look like it got cleaned up a little while ago either. All that rain, it didn't do much for all the dust. Dust came back. But here's one for you. Ground's still wet here. It's been two and a half or three days since it rained. Actually, we can't count that strip, but that all stayed over there. That ran right there. This over here, that's just because it stays shaded. And hey, look, we got stuff growing. Actually, uh, in the process of driving that Tahoe around yesterday, we went past a couple of fields that we already disked up, and they're greening up nicely. And see if you can see across the road. The neighbor worked that down and inherited it all up. And he's done it before. He's he's still fighting some grass and some other stuff in that. And if he can keep crimson growing in it and doing good on crimson, he can spray the grass out, or at least try. So he's shooting for another volunteer crimson crop on that. And he usually does pretty well with it. You know, they got their combine set. They don't want the light seeds. So you got the lights plus whatever would have fell out when you swathed. There's enough seed there to do it usually. We used to do it with crimson once in a while too. Actually, sometimes we'd have a better volunteer crop than the crop we planted. So, anyway, you know what I'm doing. I'm going to go play in the chet my fingers but you missed it look it clean and bales in replaced one of the shots on one of those gates right there actually the one right there bottom one both of them were bent bottom one was worse and missing the handle so and now if they get out of the way they can come in and eat Yes, they got to move because they're on the wrong side of the gate. So that's how that's done. Snap your fingers and it happens. Although it's not exactly instant. This is like, I don't know, five or six hours later. Something like that. And now I stand here until they let me get a chance to go through. Because they have all wanted this. Get some travelers moved out of the way, hopefully, today yet. And uh, let them have some of that watered up pasture. And look, first thing they do, come in and make it dirty. I don't know. Just can't have nice things. Just can't keep things clean. I don't know why. Alright, that's enough for now. Didn't get everything done today I wanted to. Story of my life. But I just thought I'd show you. You know, it looked pretty clear in the videos earlier, but it has been really, really, really muggy today. Actually, it has been since before it even rained. Little traveler's still out there. Number one went out to roll it up and broke the frickin' drive chain for the reel. And, yeah, original drive chain, and it's underneath everything, and it gets all the water on it. You can't do anything with them. They just get cruddy and... I was trying to get it apart and see if I could find a couple links and put on it and fix it. Nah, I gotta go to town and get some. I don't think I have any. I know there's some more chain upstairs. I didn't I didn't look everywhere. Used to have some forty, but eh. I'd go find some kid's bicycle and steal the chain off it. But this is oh, six thirty in the evening here. There is no sunset because yeah. It's kind of blue straight up. 
I don't know, they're still saying 0% chance of rain through Sunday. But if it's going to be this muggy, I mean, it, that oats isn't doing any drying out when it's like this. Like I was showing you the driveway earlier, you know. Any place that's shaded isn't drying at all. I mean, it's good for the grass growing. I was going to get you some video. I ended up going up and rolling that hose up by hand so it's ready to come in. At least get it out of there so we can let the cows out. But, I mean, even just look at the, the lawn. That was mowed, what, Saturday? And you can't tell it. It's getting to where it's growing more now because, yeah, you know, hasn't been no 95 to 105 degrees. And there's some moisture in the air. So, I'll make the end of the video here and tell you thank you for watching. I'm going to go take a shower if I can get my sopping wet clothes peeled off without having to cut them off. And then I won't have any clothes to wear tomorrow, right? So, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And that bin down there should be full sometime tomorrow. I don't know if it's an early delivery or late. We never know till they show up. Two little orphans down there still messing around in their little pen. They like it now that that horse is gone. They got room to run around. 